questions that are interesting. Sure. Did you play a lot of tennis? So I'm hoping really now. to do a lot of my own. Um, and by trying to conquer here, marketing and the rest of it. Which, was that bad? You know, it didn't it's really. Good. Good. Did you say climb it or comb it? But I'm not just climb it. Remember the story? Some other shots. Rapunzel. Do you remember the story of Rapunzel who was in the tower? I've been up to Chicago. She was in the tower. And the old witch put her in the tower. And I'll do the same. Not like my there. That's that's the story. And to go in northern Indiana, there's nobody living up there. Right? Like, like and there are all these lakes all over the place. And I have never felt so, so clean and so clear while I was driving along. It's just the greatest feeling in the world. I would really like to just live there. It's so uncomplicated. Where is this? If you could only figure out how to make a living. Where is this? Yeah. Just northern Indiana. In, in the lake areas. Oh. Around here. Like up around Warsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Warsaw, Syracuse, you just that area. Coming home from England or leaving, mm -hmm. I think. Come look at uh, last start. Uh, we've had some better, but we just had some good ones. It's recently played up here, and let's see where they are. Here, somebody's going to have some there. <laughs> <laughs> That was me Cute. leaving for England the first time, I think. Yeah. Is that Barry? Yeah. Oh God. That's Barry, though. Amazing. That was about a year ago. It was Barry and Zoe. Arts and crafts. And uh, hmm. they went around it. and they did like a mime. Somewhere you've got a picture of a mime on the wall. Yeah. And they did me and then they did, uh, well, they did a marble. Carver, right? They did about six different people. Chips, they did chips. It was nice they chose me. I mean, but it was like for, you know, free giveaway calendar to the customers sort of thing, but they really spent a fortune on that calendar. Mm -hmm. They really did. They were massive, big sheets like this and very high quality. And it had, it had the uh, writing on that, mm. which told about it. They spent something yeah. like 12 hours. But your hands are more? Is that right? Uh -huh. That's hands. Mm -hmm. They uh -huh. took no yeah. other pictures set up. I mean, they had as much lighting equipment as to fill half of this room. You know, they, I didn't even have room to turn around at the bench when I was working, you know, it was, got really hot. We had to break and go for lunch, you know, and come back and shoot again, you know, break and go to supper, God. Do you want to see these? Let's see them. Yeah. This one's not finished, so it's the yellow. I should, mm. I shouldn't start out with them like that. But, um, this so is... So that's like, like the natural color of the wood? You can kind of hold it by the neck. Well, the natural color of the wood doesn't sort of exist there. The natural color of the wood is, it's got a gold coloring over the wood. The wood naturally is sort of somewhat white. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think I have one in the white. Uh, this isn't it. See, that maple's pretty on the sides. That is absolutely gorgeous. That's you see the baptist here? English sycamore. That's what I was, it's maple. Um, the Germans, in fact, sell that, English sycamore, and they sell it as, um, as German maple, mm -hmm. you know, and you buy it as German wood, but they've got contracts with a lot of the tree companies in England, so they come and mm. get first pick of all the English wood, mm. take it back to Germany, and then violin makers from all over the world buy wood from German dealers, which claims to be German wood. I had other people that were willing to at least show me strads in really nice condition in England. Mm. At least I've made some good contacts so that I can go back from time to time and at least look at some nice instruments, you know. Right to make sure that I'm staying fairly close to the track anyway. Mm. Um, I mean, I've got, I brought a lot of information home with me, a hell of a lot of research and a hell of a lot of paperwork. But there is a museum in Cremona of what this has spent three months living in the museum. They let him in, and this happened about 10 years ago. And he was able to trace and copy everything in the museum straight from Stradivari. And he has all that preserved on a type of drawing film from, uh, is it mylar drawing film, like 0 0.002 millimeters thick. And the film is not supposed to expand or contract for an eternity. You know what I mean? So it's a very stable drawing film that he put it on. And what's you know the what I mean? Yeah. So exactly. he's got, he's got tons of information, yeah. plus all the, that's the guy that I studied restoration with, so he's got a lot of information. And he was willing to share that. Like I say, to a degree. Mm -hmm. He was willing to give me bits and pieces. 
But he spent 30 years getting that information together. He's not going to just give it to you. No. No. He's, no. He's spent the last 30 years trying to do this. Right. You know. He's not going to say, oh, well, here's all my I mean, work. He's given me a lot. I mean, he's shown me how to do that varnish. You know, I mean, he's shown me how to do another varnish entirely different than that. Neither of them are really quite the original Cremonese varnish, but they're, you know, they're, they're steps on the path. Right. Right. You know. I mean, this, he helped me put together a lot of the information for this. Yeah, that's so. a beautiful. Yeah.